In this video, we will look at crypto leverage trading on Bing X and KuCoin, what are the differences and which one is eventually better. We will go through all of these different categories. First of all, you can find the sign up links to both of these platforms down in the video description. And with these links, you will always get the best sign up bonus possible. Let's jump right into it and check out when the platforms launched. As you can see, Bing X started in 2018 and KuCoin one year earlier in 2017. As of the number of markets, there's no big difference. Both of them offer around about 200 different trading pairs. Let's now check out the KYC limits. I divided them into no KYC at all, ID verification and additional proof of residence. As you can see, the limits without KYC are pretty much the same on both of these. If we're talking about only ID verification, you can see the limit on BingX is much higher than on KuCoin. Let's now take a look at the layout and the features on the platforms. Let's start off with BingX. The platform is kept very simple. You have everything you need at one glance. Opening a position is super easy. And if you have a position open, you can see everything that you need to know about the position, which of course includes position size, entry price, liquidation price, your margin which you can adjust and your profit. What I like especially is how the take profit and stop loss window is designed. You can either type in a price manually or select one of these buttons if you want to go for example if you are 50% in a profit you want to close the position, select you want to close the entire position and you will directly see how much profit you will make. Same goes of course for your stop loss as well. What's also really nice is that you can directly see your take profit and your stop loss in the chart marked with a green and red line. Of course you can also close your position immediately where you can choose if you want to close the entire position or just a percentage of it. Overall it's definitely a great exchange, good fees, you have everything you need and it's my personal favorite. Let's now also look at KuCoin. The platform has a very modern design. You can open positions fairly quickly, see all the information you need such as position size, entry price, liquidation price and your margin which you can also edit. You can set a take profit and stop loss by typing in a price or use one of these buttons and you can also directly see your profit or estimated loss once these prices will be hit, adding and adjusting Adjusting them is definitely a pleasure and same goes for closing a position where you can also say how much do you want to close and how much of a profit or loss will you take from it. So KuCoin, a big exchange with a lot of history, its futures platform is definitely also usable. Overall, both of these platforms have a good UI. I personally like BingX a little bit more, but of course it's always a matter of preference and this rating is just my personal opinion. Let's now take a look at the order fees that we always have to pay when opening or closing a position. The maker fee we always have to pay when making a limit order, as you can see the fee for that is exactly the same, 0.02% on both of these. And the taker fee we always have to pay when making a market order. And as you can see here, the fee on BingX is a little bit lower with 0.05% compared to 0.06% on KuCoin. Let's also check out the withdrawal fees. I made a simple Bitcoin withdrawal and on BingX I currently had to pay 0.00015 Bitcoin. On KuCoin it was 0.0005 Bitcoin. So here you're actually much cheaper on Bing X. Of course you can also withdraw with other networks, for example on the Tron network you would only have to pay $1 on both of these platforms. But if we're talking about Bitcoin withdrawal, you're actually much cheaper on BingX. Lastly, I also have a special sign-up bonus for you. On BingX, you can get up to $5,000 and on KuCoin up to $700. To pick up your bonuses, you can find the links to both of these platforms down in the video description. If you're not sure yet which one you prefer, I recommend you to just sign up on both of these, maybe play around with the demo trading feature and then decide which one you prefer. If you need a tutorial about the demo trading or just general tutorials on these platforms, you can find these videos on my channel and if you have any other questions feel free to ask them in the comments.